Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're comparing Adobe's Content Aware versus Resolve 16's object removal. Let's get to it. Not too long ago, Adobe announced they had the Content Aware fill in After Effects. They've had it in Photoshop for a really long time, but being able to do that in video is a massive game changer. DaVinci Resolve has also had their own in 15, I believe, and now in 16, I think they've tweaked a few things. I really wanna compare these head to head and see which one is possibly better. Let's test these two programs out and see if you can even tell a difference by the end of it. So I've got some footage of my kids at the park, just a nice drone flyover shot. My oldest son is kind of over in the corner. We're gonna to try to take him out of that. I'm gonna drop this down, I'm gonna scale it down because it's a 4K video clip in a 1080 timeline. Then we're gonna zoom real close in here, drag this over just so I can see him. We're gonna create a real simple, just circle mask around him. We're gonna go to mask and we're gonna select none instead of add or subtract at the moment, just so I can see him and what I'm keying out. That, that's really all I care about at the moment. You can change it later. That's all I just care about right now. Drop a keyframe right there, right at the beginning. We're gonna go over probably right about there. Should be good. We're gonna move our circle just around him a little bit, just trying to get the shape. I'm gonna scrub back a little bit just to make sure he's still covered. Yep. Keep moving our mask probably every second maybe two seconds and that should be it right there the last thing we're going to do is go to mask one and we're going to hit subtract now so now you can see if i scrub through you cannot see him at all I'm trying to mask something out when you've got something on top of it you don't know if you're making it too big or vice versa we've got that set we're going to go over here to content aware fill fill method object i'm going to do mask expansion leaving it at about six we're going to do work area so it's not just going crazy and we're going to generate fill layer unless you have a beastly ridiculously strong computer um take a break uh breathe in and have a moment you know just um go check on your cat wow that is um highly impressive like i'm i'm actually blown away by how well that worked all right so let's jump in resolve 16. bonus tip for you guys if you're working in resolve a lot of people have a really hard time figuring out why they're not getting amazing playback they can't figure out why it's not rendering if you go up here to the playback and go to the render catch you can turn this on user or smart um, smart is basically where the computer is kind of saying i think this needs to be rendered maybe not uh, and sometimes it, it just doesn't do the greatest job. So what I like to do is I like to turn it to user because I want to tell the computer what to do. Clearly this is not rendering. It is not the same as Adobe where you can just hit option or alt R and have it render uh, and force tell it to do that. Quick tip for you guys is right click on that clip. And if you have multiple clips, uh, you can highlight them all and do the same thing. Uh, make sure you have your in and out points set on your timeline. Uh, right click on it, go to render catch fusion output and turn that on. And you'll see that it turns red and the computer is now turning it blue and now it is completely rendered. That's just a quick tip for you guys, but let's jump back in here and see if we can remove this object. We're gonna go over here to the color tab and we're gonna go actually to the window icon. We're gonna make sure we are at the very beginning of our clip. We're gonna manually select and track around him uh, Resolve actually does have amazing tracking built in to where you just set it and you're like, this is what I want you to do, go. Uh, but to be at the most fair advantage to each program, I'm gonna kind of do the same method. So we've got that set. We're gonna go over here to the tracker. We're gonna go to frame and we are gonna click frame one. We're gonna drag over just a little bit like we did with the other. It's a little hard to see, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna punch this little arrows that go everywhere. I don't know what the button actually is, and I'm gonna zoom in so I can see them way better. Oh, it's so much better. Go there, we're just gonna make the mask a little bit bigger just to make my life easier. Cool. All right, now that we got that, we're gonna pop this window back down so I can see everything again. If this part is not open over here, just go to open effects, hit the search bar, and we're gonna hit object removal. We're gonna drop that on there. And we're just gonna hit scene analysis and let it do its thing. This is basically the same thing that After Effects was doing where it was processing everything. You can see right here that it chopped him out, but it is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So what you do is go down here and you hit build clean plate and boom, not bad. 
honestly not bad at all. Here's both clips side by side, a complete blind test. Um, drop the comment below, let me know which program do you think is Resolve and which one is After Effects. Now there's definitely gonna be people that prefer Adobe over Resolve. I know a lot of people that are changing over to Resolve because of all the things that they've implemented in 16, and it is just in beta. I also love Adobe's program, but we all know that them pumping out updates is very hit or miss, and even when they do, it's kind of like they fix one thing, but they create 10 other problems. A is Resolve and B is After Effects. Um, I had a hard time telling myself, and I even put the video together. I still 100% think Resolve is the best free editing software there is. Now keep in mind, a lot of the stuff that is in Resolve 16 is in the studio version. I am in the paid studio version. Honestly, I think it comes down to that we're the winners overall because these programs are doing such amazing things and they're getting better and better and better and better. That's it for me today, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment below. Which program do you think looked better? Uh, could you even tell the difference before I actually put up the answers? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm the Iron Giant. You guys are amazing. I'm out.